what relevance does the development of craft uh, and the value of craft uh, have for, for future career opportunities. And that's very much to the heart of what we want to achieve at Nature Square. So it's not just about the sustainable natural materials. It's about the enhancement of craft skills. Because, you know, let's face it, uh, in Asia and in other developing countries, people want to, they want to go to work in a, in a suit and tie, they want to be in an air-conditioned office. And the hand skills, uh, craft skills, I think have really been devalued. And our whole objective was to take those skills, of course, to enhance them by, you know, knowledge transfer, bring in, bringing in technological solutions that our primarily Swiss and German engineers and industrial designers come up with, um, but to then give them the opportunities, that broaden their horizons to see that actually that amazing craft can be translated into the highest end of, of luxury and technological innovation, that, that you're looking at a marriage uh, of the two. And, and that's very much what we'd like to see you know, as, as the future and, and providing broader opportunity, uh, particularly in the region and particularly in developing countries. Mm. And that's why the collaboration with, with Mike and his team at, at, at Goodwood has been so inspiring. Absolutely, I think there's a lot of parallels between Nature Squared and Rolls Royce in the sense that craft and handcraft is at the, at the core of what we both did. Um, and in Goodwood, we have a, a, a collective of crafts people working in our different areas. So our paint shop, leather shop, and the wood shop, all incredibly skilled men and women working there, and also training as well. It's something that's so important. One of the main focuses was to take advantage of the fact that we have this opportunity of it being protected behind glass. So what we wanted to do was to use a material that's never been seen in the automotive in an automotive context before. Um, so we, we chose feathers um, and that allows us to do things that no, no other um, car manufacturer might be able to do in terms of the use of a, a beautiful natural material. We certainly see a very, very young team in Goodwood. So there's a, obviously we have individuals that have been working in Goodwood ever since it. We started building motor cars there in 2003. Um, but um, there are incredibly young individuals with learning traditional skills, but also contemporary skills too. So learning advanced manufacturing techniques that assist handcraft. So whether that's the utilization of advanced technology like 3D printing. So underneath these feathers, you see the, the a 3D printed form. So it's this beautiful blending of um, advanced manufacturing techniques with incredibly um, traditional manufacturing. That's really quite interesting. You can't address conservation without addressing livelihood. And you can't address livelihood without talking about empowerment and education. So for us, all those four things are, are inextricably linked. Yeah, so, so vibration, you know, if you have a moving uh, vehicle, whether it's a yacht or a plane or, or a car, you need to worry about what happens uh, with, with, with movement. Uh, so we need to make sure that things are secure, very secure, and that there aren't, you know, particles that come off something over time. Uh, that's very important. So if you're designing a, 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 a super yacht uh, or, 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 or a jet, uh, you need to, I'll, I'll let Mike talk about cars, uh, we need to make sure that things are secured at two levels. One is literally to, to the deck, uh, and the other is within the piece itself. Mm. I mean, from an automotive perspective, um, all of the, these beautiful gallery pieces, like the one that you see here, they are tested to withstand years and years of, of use, so that in you know, a hundred years time, if this uh, bespoke phantom is at a concourse event, that it still looks fantastic. So it shouldn't visually degrade over time. Um, the pot, it should stay looking beautiful. Mm -hmm.